This is a scene from Person of Interest. It portrays a person who is captured in a security cam, and the person's ID number, who they are calling, and the likelihood of the person to commit a crime displays on the screen. You may think this is only a scientific fiction, but it is becoming our reality. And Palantir, a startup based in the United States, is working on making it a reality. Palantir develops data analytics software, and the value of the company amounts beyond $20 billion. Yet, not many people even know that such a company exists. Why? Because Palantir is not too keen in sharing its info, and is rather discreet in nature. Why would a software company operate under a veil of secrecy? Because its main clients consist of CIA, FBI, NSA, Army, and police. If you use Palantir's program, Gotham, yes, that Gotham you know in the movie Batman. It will analyze who's interacting with who, who's going where, and will start patterning data on your behavior. When such data are analyzed by network analysis, it will start drawing up its picture on your networks. Just with the last two digits of your card plate number, it would analyze the data pulled from security cams and figure out where you're heading to. Can you believe it? According to an interview with LAPD, it is apparently very effective. But it's a bit scary, right? Well, CIA and FBI might still sound far away from you. But here comes the real chill. If you're working at a business, your emails, GPS data, phone calls, all of this could be subject to such analytics. Palantir is contracted by companies which are interested in analyzing the behavior of its employees and finding out who may have unusual behavior. The actual case of JP Morgan is well known in this regard. With Palantir, JP Morgan tried to find potential objects of corporate asset through analyzing emails and GPS locations and phone conversations. As you can imagine, this became a spying scandal, so JP Morgan ended up terminating the contract with Palantir. The lesson is, if you're using your company phone, you may want to be cautious of what you do with this, because they might be analyzing that you're watching this video even. But do you think it is legal to investigate your private data like this? Isn't there some kind of privacy or human rights issues? Palantir have been sued several times, and also there are a lot of people protesting against them. At this very moment, activists are protesting in front of Palantir's cafeteria in Palo Alto against Palantir's work with the Immigration and Customs Enforcement to identify undocumented immigrants. Last year, it was a hot issue that Palantir was secretly working in New Orleans to test its software to predict crimes. They traced people's time to gang members, analyzed social media, and predicted the likelihood that individuals would commit violence. Palantir is like a double-edged sword. On the one hand, Palantir helps catching criminals or find explosions, or help people suffering from tornado. But on the other hand, it may infringe on privacy and human rights. Well, Palantir is still developing its technologies in this moment so its analytics will likely become more and more powerful. If a minority report comes out after 10 years, it may well be Palantir.